What's good y'all, it's your boy Ross, back at it again with another video. So, I got a chance to check out the Call of Duty multiplayer reveal for Cold War. Uh, I actually saw it the day it dropped, but I wasn't feeling well that day. So I definitely wasn't in the mood to try to record anything or try to edit any videos. I was kind of under the weather, but I'm feeling much better now. So I had to bring you guys this video. So, first things first, I want to say... It really went all out with the multiplayer. They they had the whole setup, Ronda Hart and his team. They had this nice little intricate Cold War setup going on. Like they were really doing it big to try to sell this multiplayer. They had all the top streamers, all the top YouTubers playing the game early, live streaming it. So I, I thought it was pretty cool. You know, they of course they're gonna give the best presentation possible to sell this game um there's some things i liked about the game there's some things well the gameplay that i did see and there's some things i'm i'm not so sure yet but we're gonna go into that uh, i'm going to do this off the cuff no script just what i can remember just watching different youtubers play i have some gameplay footage in the background it's not mine i'll actually link the video uh the original video to the actual uh gameplay and uh you guys can go check that out if you want to um but first things first i will say this the graphics look on par with modern warfare in my opinion uh, i think what gives it the different feel is it looks like a black ops game if you play black ops one and two it gives that nostalgia vibe and i think that's what they were going for with this so the graphics on par doesn't seem anything too crazy even though you would think it would be a little bit better for next gen consoles but from what i could tell it looked good it wasn't crazy out of the world but serviceable um they did announce uh, that they will be having a hybrid system like a 10 pick the 10 pick system from our previous uh, custom loadouts but also combining it with how modern warfare does their loadout system so in modern warfare you can stack your gun with five attachments well in this game you can stack your gun with five attachments, but they're including wild cards like in previous Black Ops games. And with those wild cards, it gives you certain advantages. So, for example, say you want more attachments on your gun. There's a wild card for it, which allows you to max out your gun with eight attachments. And I'm interesting, well, interested in seeing how that's going to play out. A gun with eight attachments. Oh man, I'm I'm pretty sure you can make up some crazy classes, make a gun super overpowered. I'm looking forward to that. There's other wild card uh um perks that you get. Um I believe there is one where it allows you to have you can stack multiple perks on top of each other that you couldn't before without the wild card. And uh I'm looking forward to that. You know, wild cards in the uh, Black Ops series have always been a thing, so can't wait to check that out, see how many different classes you can customize and create. So I'm looking forward to just the customization part. Um, they also dived into how things are going to play out with kill streaks. They pretty much taken away kill streaks and they went back to score streaks, which I personally prefer in my opinion. Um, but this time it's different. Your score streaks don't reset when you die. So people may think, oh, that's a little that's a little cheap. You know, I'm I'm part of the Call of Duty community that had to, you know, you know, pretty much do whatever they could to stay alive to obtain the streaks. But it's different. It costs a lot more to get your streaks. From what they said, the chopper gunner is like sixty three hundred score. That's a lot of score. But also it's it's kind of it, it incentivized people to play the objective get more kills so say you go on a streak you the bonus that you get for killing people increases so you get your score streak a little bit quicker also if you capture objectives or, or you know do anything objective wise as while getting kills that also multiplies your score so you're you're able to get your score streaks even quicker and then there's a cooldown period so you can't just spam score streaks i do like the fact that you can loop them 
Not like in Modern Warfare, once you get your score streaks, that's it until you die. No, you can actually loop your score streaks, but there's a cooldown period for them. So I like that. I, th I think it's, it's different. This will be the first Call of Duty where you don't really have to camp to get your score streaks. In fact, you it promotes people moving around, which I love. Like that, that makes it so much better. Like I, sh th I there shouldn't be a situation where people camping to get their streaks. If you want to get your streaks, you camping's not going to help you do it in this game. You're going to ha actually have to get kills. You're going to have to actually have to move around, play the objective. Now, if you're playing just a regular TDM mode, you still can't get your your score streaks because at the end of the day you got to string up or just a lot of kills in order for you to get it so it's just just one of those type of things where i it, it i'm liking the idea of forcing people to move um i also like the fact that they brought back ghost the way it's supposed to be not how it is in modern warfare basically ghost in this game you have to keep moving in order for it to work now you can stop for a little bit uh it's like they said it's like maybe a three second period where if you stop or whatnot it's you know you're still you know you won't be seen but after that three second period then you you'll show up on the radar so i like that i like how that's how go should be looking forward to that i'm so glad they also brought back dead silence pretty much but it's not 100% dead silence from what people are saying it's you could still hear people but their footsteps are much quieter than if if they weren't you know if they didn't have dead silence applied I'm not I don't think it's called dead silence it's probably called something else I can't remember but basically if you're running around with that perk on you still can be heard it's just it's much quieter but if you didn't have that perk on you definitely would be heard um, people running up behind you. You know, it. they kind of switched up the sound system on footsteps this year instead of it just being like how it is in Modern Warfare, where it's just everybody's feet sound like, sound like elephant stomping. It's more of it depends on how you approach somebody. So if you're running at somebody, your footsteps are going to be heard. If you're crouch walking or you're walking slowly, you may not be heard as much. And with the uh, the Dead Silence perk, it quiets your footsteps overall, but you still can be heard even if you're running up on somebody. It just depends on what other noises are going on in the background. So I like the fact that it's not a clutch perk because you not clutch. It's not a crutch perk, so you don't have to necessarily run it on all your classes, but it is a perk that can be beneficial if you're trying to be stealthy. So I like that. It has, it's not overpowered. It's kind of right in the middle. So I'm looking forward to being able to try that out on class setups because I am I like to be stealthy as much as possible. I love running silencers on my gun. I love flanking the enemy. So looking forward to that. Um, they showed off some different maps. And this is where I get into some of the negatives. Um, I don't really care for ground war maps, me personally. Uh, I get it. There's a battlefield community that likes multiple, like 36 versus 36 or 50 versus 50 type teams, and you know, big chaos. It's it's cool, but that's not that's not me, especially in like a Call of Duty setting. Um, I prefer the traditional 6v6. Um, but uh, they were showing off all the bigger maps. Me, I I don't really care. I'm I can see myself maybe trying those maps out every now and then but i'm more so concerned on the smaller to medium sized maps because i can see myself primarily just playing 6v6 uh there is one map that was interesting i'm not sure sure of the name is actually part of this gameplay footage in the background the map with the multiple ships and you can zip line to each one that's unique that's different i think that's pretty dope um they brought back swimming in the game so you can now swim underwater if you need to um it's dope i, I like the aesthetics it's different um but me personally i'm just not a big fan of the bigger maps um i did like the miami uh map that they showed and i like the little desert map those are type of maps i can rock with 
like you have different tight quarters you can you know you can move around you it gives you type of you know it gives you a chance to flank the enemy medium to small size maps or or you know are my go-to i'm not a big fan of large maps i'm not trying to run 30 seconds to engage with the enemy so that's just me personally um but that's just all the things i could think of off top um Wait, there actually is one more thing, one more important thing. Um, I do like the fact that Warzone itself will be transferring over to Black Ops Call of Duty. I said Black Ops Call of Duty. Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. They will be transferring stats, I believe. They're pretty much going to keep the Warzone thing going. But I'm guessing they're probably going to pull a Fortnite, maybe change up the map add different guns um i believe they said your stats were going to transfer over so i think that's dope so for people who haven't bought the full game of modern warfare you just have the free version of warzone be on the lookout for a massive update i think that's dope it doesn't it doesn't split up the player base because it wouldn't make sense for them to make another like battle royale to split up the player base it, that doesn't make sense to do that because now less people are playing Warzone on Modern Warfare. But now, if people don't want to buy the new Call of Duty, I actually know someone that's not really trying to buy the new Call of Duty. They weren't impressed. They'll just probably play Warzone. That's it. Just play Warzone and, you know, they'll probably have different guns, a different map or, you know, different things throughout Warzone. So I think that's pretty dope. I'm looking forward to that. I think that that's a good way to keep the player base connected. And another thing that they're doing is cross-platform connection. So, of course, right now, Xbox, PC, PlayStation can play against each other right now on Modern Warfare. But when the next-gen consoles drop, not only will Xbox, PC, and PlayStation be able to play together, but the next-gen Xbox, PCs, not next gen PCs, but Xbox PlayStation players, they will be able to play with people that are on the previous gen. So everybody will be able to play together. I think that's dope. Once again, it's good that they're not trying to split up the player base. I think that's amazing. Um, it's not really too many negatives for me other than uh, I wish they would have showcased more of the smaller maps. Uh, but other than that, decent, decent showcasing. Uh, I'm somewhat excited. I will save my full judgment when the beta releases and best believe I'm going to have some footage of the beta, get, get beta gameplay on my channel. So be on the lookout for that. But I will feel I will definitely give my full thoughts and opinion when I'm able to actually play the game. And then I will come back and give another, another, you know, kind of review on if I'm really looking forward to this game or not. But as of right now, I'm semi hyped. I'm not overly ecstatic about it, but it does look it does look good. I'm interested to see how things are gonna play out, and uh, I'm I'm somewhat looking forward to it. I'm not gonna lie to you. At first, I wasn't uh, as much, but right now, as it stands, somewhat looking forward to it. So we'll see how things play out. But comment down below if you guys got a chance to check out the multiplayer reveal. And if you guys, if this has changed your excitement for the new Call of Duty or the, the things that you see in this uh, gameplay, uh, not gameplay, in the multiplayer reveal, did it kind of turn you off on Call of Duty this year and you're probably going to play some other games. So comment down below. Let me know. Appreciate all the love and support. Road to 30K. Appreciate y'all kicking in with me. See you on the next one. Peace.